Since the year 2000, 59 miners have lost their lives to coal dust explosions occurring in four different underground coal mines in the United States. To completely box out and eliminate coal dust explosions requires a four-sided prevention strategy. The first side of the box consists of the prevention or removal of coal dust accumulations. The second side of the box consists of the wetting of coal dust to prevent it from becoming airborne. The third side of the box consists of the inerting of coal dust via rock dusting. This is where Title 30 of the United States Code of Federal Regulations stops. Many other countries mandate a fourth prevention strategy that the U.S. does not, and they have done so for 15 years or more. This additional prevention strategy that completes the box and seals off coal dust explosions is the installation of explosion activated barriers. The current most popular system that is in use in foreign mines is a passive system based on an arrangement of specialized bags containing a prescribed amount of rock dust that are hung from the mine roof. The amount of coal dust required to support an explosion is very small, less than one gram per cubic foot, or approximately a four thousandths inch thick layer of coal dust. Many understand the dangers inherent to a coal dust explosion, but few have ever seen or experienced one. In a coal dust explosion, the pressure pulse created travels faster than the explosion flame front scouring more dust from the mine floor, walls, and roof, which the flame front then ignites as it later moves through. This process can continue and self-propagate the explosion throughout the mine. In the event of an explosion with a bag barrier in place, the pressure pulse moves through and ruptures the bags containing the rock dust. The rock dust is then released and becomes airborne. Once this occurs, the rock dust mixes with the coal dust and increases the incombustible content of the airborne coal dust concentration, which prevents the ignition of the entrained coal dust, thereby extinguishing the flame front and suppressing the explosion. The following images are from full-scale bag barrier explosion testing held at the Tremonia Test Gallery in Germany. The first image is a view of the bag barrier setup prior to testing. This is followed by video footage of a coal dust explosion being suppressed by the installed bag barrier system. Now watch the same explosion video in ultra slow motion. As the flame front approaches, the pressure pulse has already moved through and ruptured the bags. Watch closely as additional coal dust that was scoured from the floor and walls ignites and intensifies the explosion. At this point, rock dust plumes can be seen emanating from the bags on the lower left. As the rock dust is released and mixed in the air ahead of the flame front, an incombustible dust barrier is formed and suppression of the explosion flame front is achieved. For more information regarding the passive bag barrier system, Please attend our Industry Day Information Session at the Running Right Conference Center in Julian, West Virginia on May 23, 2017. Or you can email any questions or comments to Project Engineers at bagbarrierproject at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in enhancing the safety of American underground coal mines and their employees.